It's a coincidence, though, this evening, or as we record this podcast, because we are Dos Hombres. That's true. We don't usually refer to ourselves as that. <laughs> no, no, not usually. I don't usually also refer to myself as I'm the one who knocks. Oh, that's true. But we're making a lot of ties right here to one of at least my favorite shows of all time. Keith, at some point, we will get him to watch the show more than the first I season. I watched the first season. We will get him to watch more than the first season. It only took me five or six years. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a lot of life left to live, so I will get you through that show. There's okay. only like five seasons, so I think we have a chance. But uh, what we for sure have a chance with today is that we are going to try a mezcal from Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we are about today is the Dos Hombres uh, Mezcal. This is the uh, Espadon, which is a six year, uh, a six, it's made with a six year agave. Uh, it's a Hoven, which is young. Uh, they also have a 25 uh, or a, uh, the Tabala, which is made with a 25 year old agave, but that's not what we have. We have, no, the, we have the Hoven. The no, I don't know how much that one is. That one's probably very expensive. This one was a little pricier than this one was a little pricier. So we do not have, like, I'd like to preface this cause we've gotten some comments on our previous videos. If you've uh, either subscribed to us on YouTube or have followed us at all, uh, and want to go back in the archives, we've really only tried other one mezcal. It's something we were, have been very interested in. It was the Trader Joe's one. It right. was also uh, an espada, mm -hmm. correct? Espada, it was also a yeah. hoven. A hoven, right. So like said, Oaxaca. Kinda, from the same, from same, the same area. area. Oaxaca, same growing region. Like I said, so it kind of checked a lot of these same boxes. And, and we liked it. We did a little bit of a quick taster uh, before this show again, just to kind of refresh ourselves on that. Uh, this one definitely ups the price point. But we had some people tell us like, oh, that one's not good. Like, don't like it. But then we couldn't get people to tell us what ones to try. What to try. So if you guys have some ideas of things that we should try, leave it in the comments for sure. We read those. We will look through those. Let us know. And we would love to go back and do some future reviews. But the, again, the one we have today, a uh, little pricier. So how much is the Trader Joe's one that we previously had? The Trader Joe's is $20 to, $21. So this one ups the ante a little bit. This one was 63 Okay. Oh, uh, more than a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That's so more than a times. little bit. Uh, I got this a total wine. Uh, it was one of the uh, last bottles on the shelf or that I probably wouldn't have originally grabbed it. As I talked <laughs> to you about, I was like, it was kind of an impulse of like, we've talked about, we want to get this. Ooh, that's a little more expensive. And I was like, that's the last one. Grab it. And then your joke was. That they probably just put one out <laughs> and they watch somebody take that one because of that reason. And then they're like, someone bought the uh, Dos Hombres. Go ahead and refill. Put, Go put ahead one and refill with another one. Building, building the mystery, as, yeah. they, as we might say. But um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that was that. But, anyway. but also, too, thanks to our wonderful subscribers and viewers and people out there. That's actually one of the reasons why purchasing this was a little easier. Yes, yeah, 100%. So, thank like you. I said, yeah, if you follow us on Twitch or if you subscribe to us on Twitch, like I said, your like I said, uh, you know, generosity has made purchases like this uh, possible. And we, we thank you for that uh, greatly. So, yeah, this is kind of our second foray into Mezcal. It will definitely probably not be our last, no matter how this one tastes, because yeah. uh, we even like the Trader Joe's one for the most part. When we redid it just now, though, uh, we did speak of like I had some uh, sweetness with some rubber tire, rubber tire. Burnt, and you had uh, what else? You I, had, of, I got a little saltiness and uh, but then also the, the, the smoky, the smoky goodness. Uh, but there's a new one at uh, at the store too. We did actually get it in the Ojo de Tigre. Oh, okay. That well, we need 31 probably, if we need to try that. We should so. probably try that one then, depending yeah. on this is. We don't really need to talk about uh, how this looks because this is clear. This is like vodka esque <laughs> clarity here. Water, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just get right to the aroma. I am surprised at the lack of smoke because of others that I have tried and I have tried another one besides the other yeah, one. Yeah, you were talking about that um, on the, the pre-show. And that is and just knowing that how this is made, uh, uh, usually mezcals are made uh, in underground so there's there is more smokiness imparted mm -hmm. into the final uh the final spirit. Um I was thinking I would find some smokiness in there but I mean there's a little but I get I get the agave plant actually in there that that kind of that fruit that we associate with tequila, which mm -hmm. is comes from the same plant. So I'm getting, like I said, very similar. Like I said, it definitely still has, I get some smoke in there. Some, I'm still getting yeah. a little bit of that rubber tire, new car smell. Like there's a little bit, it's very balanced. Uh, I like that there's more of the agave plant coming through. I'm getting a little bit more right. of that fruit coming through. It's a wonderful kind of complex balance of all of those things. It's not just one thing really hitting me. And then, it, oh, at the very end, it gets, like I'm getting a little bit of everything, which I, which I really like. I like the aroma okay. of this because to me, it's more complex. It is, you know, it is not, yeah, it is not as smoke forward as previous things. But I, yeah. I, like, I like the balance of all of that. And I like being able to get, I like the heart of the plant still coming through. I agree. The, 
the smoke is there, but it is it's definitely restrained. I, I think yeah. it's a it's more of a supporting component, and kind of like you were talking about with the aroma. I think there's there's some of the um, agave fruit. You get that smoke. Um, the sweet is in there. The sweet. There's a there, there's some there's a little bit of heat. The alcohol's there a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, which I kind of like that spice. Like yeah. it brings a little bit of liveliness to the tongue, and also like the kind of little bit of heat. Yeah, and I so I think it's a it's a it's a nice balance, and like uh, and just thinking of the couple that I have tried, I think this like I said the smoke is more restrained, but I think everything's more harmonious. I guess in this one, I would agree. I like that the smoke kind of just uh, like like smoke does almost kind of lingers throughout all of your tastes. Like I said, it's not just right. like this huge like wall of it up front, and right. then afterwards you get these other things that are kind of disparate. Like you're actually getting like oh I'm getting the smoke, but now I'm getting some of the agave, but now the smoke kind of we- like it kind of weaves its way through everything. Yeah, and I agree. I get all of those same flavors. I really like, like this one, is, I, this is excellent. This is definitely my favorite. Right. <laughs> but again, you know, we always talk about, you know, with price, everybody's price point is different of right. what you want to afford. Is it like the amount of leap that we talked about from ones that we've had previous? Like, is it that much better? I mean, it's quite a bit better. But for me, is there something that's like halfway between these two? Right. Like, I would definitely pay more than, like I said, the Trader Joe's one to get closer to these flavors because this is what I like. Okay. I like this balance of things. So if I could get closer to that for 30 or $40, then that would be like my go-to for Mezcal. I would probably still use the Trader Joe's one though as a mixer though, because, yeah. because <clears> when you're making that, well, cause if you're making something with grapefruit and other things, like if you're doing a sipper, I want more of the subtlety and all that kind of thing. And right. if, when I'm doing the mixer, for me and my budget, I, I like, okay, here's the note that I want to come through, which is a little more toward the smoke, a little right. bit of agave to hang out there. With, like I said, if I'm doing a Paloma, I'm making it with grapefruit or right. something else. Uh, or maybe even, I don't know, I wonder what a Bloody Maria would be like with this. Like if you have the smoke come through with the tomato juice. Yeah. And, I, I think there's a lot good. of great options here. I would not mix there. this one like under no circumstances. If I saw someone grabbing it about to pour it over ice, I'd slap it out of their hand. And just, like, <laughs> well, that's just, what they do in their video. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Aaron yeah. Paul and Brian Cranston. Yeah, we all have links to their uh, the website obviously here at aboutbeverages.com or if you're watching on YouTube they'll be there as well uh, to check out this kind of stuff but no I this to me is a great flavor profile like this I like yeah, this I like one. it much better than the other one but I don't know I'm, if I like it $63 and I, I, I had a I feeling you're saying, I yeah. had a feeling you'd probably say and I don't know if I quite do yeah, either yeah but if it's like if I had to creep up in price and like I say I had to get to $40, let's say. I know this is like a, such a weird thing to talk about. <laughs> say we got to $40, right. but I still wasn't even like, that's ah, still not close. Like then I'd probably be like, okay, I understand why I have to make that final leap to get to the flavor profile I like. But I, I have a feeling there's something in between. I'm guessing there's something in between. And then like there's about $20 worth of Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul surtax on this one. Well, and I, I'm yeah. assuming. <laughs> and not that I didn't pay for it. Again, I have shirts. I have the complete collect. Like I am in, I'm right. all in on their stuff. So right. I'm like nothing against and, them. And we do have two others at the store. Um, that one is, I think, 28 and the other is 31. Okay. So if, if slash when it's time for that next bottle of mezcal i mean you're almost out of yours so mine is probably need another one (laughs) i need to replenish i actually am out of my trader joe's one so we can probably talk about like i would like to do that one because that one at least kind of ups the ante a little bit and we can see if there's something can pick one of those two i'll send you a link to those yeah is there one that stood out to you more well the one bottle is cooler it's a cooler looking bottle. Is it bottle. the thirty one dollar? Yeah, and it's the thirty one. It's, okay, and it's oh de tigre. Oh, that's the one you've been talking yeah. about. Well, that's the one we should the try. One you is keep, Rayu. You, you've been talking about that one for a while, and uh, yeah. if people are, are watching us uh, here either live on Twitch or uh, have watched us in the archive format up on YouTube, we greatly appreciate that. That's where we put all of our podcasts, uh, as well of our as well as our website about beverages You can find all of that stuff there. Uh, but you've been uh, talking about the Ojo del Tigre for quite a while, yeah, so we probably should in. try that one at some point. <laughs> Probably should try that one at some point. Uh, again, uh, check out those things and hit the subscribe button. We'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, if you only want uh, some audio podcast things, we've got you covered there. Uh, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcast. If you have a favorite podcast app, just search for About Beverages. You will probably find us, and it'd be greatly appreciated if you want to listen to us there as well. All of, of that course. stuff helps, uh, as well as some pillars. Well, there are three pillars. There are, because we have removed and added. Removed and added. So there's aren't, there are not four, then. We're not adding. Mm-hmm. We're removing and adding. We're so, removing okay. and adding. That's all right. I think so. Don't you think that's the right move? So the readjust. Well, considering you can't even access the. <laughs> that's true. Uh, <laughs> one of the pillars. One is, of the pillars is. One of the pillars is inaccessible. Is inaccessible. So it's not really doing. <laughs> it's us like any the good. mines of Moria. I can't get in there Are without a key. Are things happening? 
I mean, are, are stuff go, going to it? No, I can't even go to so that. So it, I don't think I, I've even posted so in like nobody's s- even, in multiple yeah. weeks. So because there was a time one of our uh, listeners I know told me he's like, oh, you came up in the in the Facebook, but no, I haven't I'm heard that. Oh, no, no, he didn't. You can't just buy and sell <laughs> people, people, Mr. Potter. <laughs> oh God, no, he didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, thank God. <laughs> um, so okay, so the the readjusted, the reimagined. Three I pillars. think so. It's time. Uh, our uh, Instagram, which has been around, it's been there as one of them. Uh, now we have TikTok. <gasps> right. I don't know if that's good for the sound effects, but I like it. Okay, so we got I TikTok. Like yeah, because you've got uh, only sixty seconds to get your point across, <laughs> and it's pretty amazing. If you want to see us do reviews in sixty <laughs> seconds or less, check out TikTok. And uh, and so yeah, so we got the TikTok, and then we also the one that we use most often, which is uh, Twitter. Uh, which if you follow us on there, you we will let you know we're going live on twitch.tv slash about beverages most Thursday, Thursday evenings around 530. Um, that's when we hang out with our, uh, with our listeners, viewers, and uh, talk about all kinds of things. Beverages, sports, home whatever. Repair, home Music, repair, as we home said repair, earlier. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> whatever comes up. Uh, we're going to have some uh, fun doing that and recording our podcasts. Uh, also, uh, Andrew lets you know throughout the week what he's going to be doing, what games he's playing, what he's drinking while he's playing those games, who might be joining also. As That's well. true. Because uh, uh, sometimes uh, there are celebrities and just, you know, people hanging out and having fun. Uh, but follow us on, uh, on Twitter. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot.